artists or millionaires, what's the difference? Whenever I set a foolproof trap to catch a man, it's always the same problem. The other woman. I try sabotaging her, and she ends up winning the prize. That's how I lost my Frenchman, Charles. Oh, Charles. Charles was an artist, a lover of the Louvre. He swore his heart was mine. But I found him with Mimi, a painting cow from Paris, admiring her design. So I doctored up her sketchings with some etchings of my own to show her lack of skill and break his heart. But Charles loves the color and the daring use of shadows, so he took her to the Louvre, where she was crowned the queen of modern art. I had a perfect plan to land the man of my dreams. Although it seems that just when I'm about to hear that low and wind song, the best laid perfect plan goes wrong. That's all right. I didn't want him anyway. Too visual. I wanted someone more physical. Like my Englishman, Eddie. Eddie was a dancer, a step above a stair, but he chose me from the girls. But I found him with Trinka, a beauty from the Bolshoi entangled in tango twirls. So to ruin her sense of rhythm when she's with him on the stage, I dropped a cockroach down the dress she'd worn. Well, her body started jerking and her feet began a twisting, so he brought her to New York where she created a new dance. And that is how the Charleston was born. I had a perfect plan to bag the man of my dreams. Although it's that just when there's a charming little chapel in sight, the best laid perfect plan goes right down the toilet. But why should that surprise me? I've never been taught the game of love. I learned French at Bryn Mawr, a Matisse from Renoir, and how to use a culture tone. But when it came to other women, advice was rather slim, and so I learned it on my own. I went to night school. Then I had one final affair, but this time it was with a real man, my Italian stallion, Louis. Louis was a lifeguard who ruled the Riviera. He'd watch me from the stand. But I found him with Lucy, a swimmer from Southampton, while backstroking in the sand. So to make her less attractive and less active on the beach, I showed them both how put a handsome actor in a towel in her bedroom. When Louis caught him in there, well, I thought I'd see a fight. But instead I saw the towel just go flying out the window. Now a man without his clothes, I like it fine, but Louis likes it more. Thanks to my perfect plan, he found the man of his dreams. And now it seems this hussy from the Ritz is where she doesn't belong, but I'll stop her with a plan, a cute but brutal plan, for once my plan will not go wrong. Hello Monty, tell me all about your new friend.